Aloha everybody, welcome back, and I'm the Chornik, and today ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon episode number 13, yes, reviewing the Pancake Race episode, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say one thing, yeah, Sun and Moon is, has a ton of fillers right now, uh, there's only been a couple episodes where they're actually, like, development, but, with their fillers though, you have to give a lot of credit with the fact that, heck, they're given a lot of detail, and they're having some heck of a lot of, like, good fillers. Like, their fillers are good. X, Y, X, Y, Z had terrible fillers. The only one I could really pick off from the top of my head that I liked was that Mirror episode, when they went to the other dimension. That's, like, the only other, like, one I could really think about from X, Y, X, Y, Z that was actually good. Uh, but this one, already we've had, like, whether, yeah, they were, you liked them or not, they have so much detail within these episodes within even the fillers and the the main development they have they put so much attention to everything that's why I gotta love it and this episode was fantastic and I have to pretty much tell you guys why you know because this is when I review I'm gonna tell you why you have to actually focus on these fillers you know be excited for every single week of Sun and Moon because so far I think these writers are delivering in my opinion so first off this big this episode begins off with Mallow. So already the best start you could ever give a filler or a development episode ever. Like, I was like, D 10 out of 10 already, already. Boom. 30 se The first 30 seconds, they, they did what they needed to do. And they had Mallow in the very beginning. I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Well, what really uh, brought me into <laughs> watching, wanting to watch this episode is because Mallow was mentioned in the description and everything. I felt like this was going to be more of a Mallow focused episode, which it really wasn't. Uh, but she was in it for a lot of it, uh, and she's the one that told Ash about the pancake race. Ash went along and met the uh, that one, the previous champion of the pancake race with her Raichu and Pikachu. I love how the like continuity stuff is going on, and Pikachu instantly gets a rivalry with that Raichu, and they hate each other, and they both want to beat each other in the pancake race. Uh, but they're kind of irrelevant in terms of the fact that. Like, just so much else is going on. Team Rocket was freaking hilarious in this episode. Like, from Mimikyu and Jesse to James and Wobbuffet and Meowth and Beware. So, Meowth and Wobbuffet, like, dressed up as Beware. Um, and th they made it all the way to the very, very end, and they're about to win. But then Beware comes out of nowhere and just shreds the costume off of Meowth and Wobbuffet, jumps up in the air and grabs Meowth and Wobbuffet and goes over to the bleachers and ganks Jesse and James out and then just takes off into the distance. I'm like, I gotta love that bear, dude. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. I love how they're changing it up. Uh, but that's, like, Team Rocket was just hilarious, isn't it? And we also had Kiawe, I felt so bad for him. He was like making noises like he's taking a big dump or something. He's like, Ew. And then he was like pulling his other hand over there and he's like trying to yank this heavy Pokemon up the Dagon cliff. I felt so bad because even at the very very end of the episode, he was still there. Like even after the race was over, he was still trying to pull this poor Pokemon up the cliff and he just like passed out. And he was like, <gasps> and I was just like, oh my gosh. Like this episode was great. Like you have to admit it was funny. Like they actually put effort in this episode, the writers did. Like honestly. I wanted to see Mallow win. We didn't really know who was going to win this episode, but uh, I wanted to see Mallow win it because just be because she's Mallow. And, uh, and because, well, not only that, but she also told Ash about the pancake race and she's all about food. So I thought she was going to, might be the one to win it or that Ash and Mallow would team up for this. But that didn't happen. And Mallow ended up getting angry at Ash because he was training with the previous champion instead of Mallow. And I was like, doggone it, Ash, come on. Know, know where the real time needs to be spent on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so, <laughs> so we're moving on. Uh, we have Lily and her egg, right? And especially in this next episode, they already showed at the very end of this episode the egg hatched. And uh, Lily was pretty cute in this episode, I have to say. Uh, and th they were kind of giving a foreshadowing to the next episode, her and Vulpix. Um, Vulpix is finally hatching from the egg, and we're going to have to see how that all turns out. Looks like there's going to be a little bit of conflict. Looks like Lily's going to be crying, too, in that episode. Oh my gosh, dude, it's going to be so cool. I actually can't wait for next week's episode. Uh, Lily episodes, they've been stellar so far, so we have to make sure uh, to watch that and keep an eye and be happy about that. 
But, any old who's, we're gonna go back to the race real quick. And the things I want to point out about Mimikyu was that he just freaking got triggered. It, he saw Pikachu and he was like, I gotta murder him. And Jesse's like, no, please, don't do it! Like, she already knew, like, he, w he wanted to kill Pikachu. And then Jesse's like, you're gonna ruin it, you're not supposed to attack other Pokemon. Uh, and Mimikyu just want he was triggered, and he ruined it for everybody. He ruined it for Lana, he ruined it for Mallow. Uh, Mimikyu ended up, like, getting run into, technically. Actually, Mallow, I guess you could say, kind of ruined it. Uh, well, not Mallow, but her Pokemon. Because her Pokemon, like, ran into Mimikyu right before he was about to fire the Shadow Ball onto Pikachu. And then the Shadow Ball eventually, uh, ended up going into Puplio. So all three of them ended up getting out, and so it was down to just like Pikachu and the Alolan Raichu, and then, you know, Meowth and Beware, but you already guys already know what happened to that. Uh, but, and then we also had the, <laughs> the Koala, Oak's Pokemon. So while Pikachu and Raichu were shock and awe by the fact that Beware just came out of nowhere and just ripped Meowth's costume to shreds, uh, the koala, I don't even know how the frick he did this. He's rolling on the ground. Someone explain this to me, like how, the physics, screw physics. Pokemon were like, screw physics. And the koala Pokemon, I forget its name, but like it was just like tumbling and tumbling. And like it's somehow keeping the plate stable above it. How, how, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And then Oak ends up winning the, the match and Pikachu and Alolan Raichu end up getting like second place. So, yeah, so Alolan Oak ends up getting first place, and that's how the end episode ends off, and then we get to see Vulpix finally evolve, um, which leads on to the next episode. Anyway, guys, what do you think about it? Please post in the comment section below. I love you all. Can we just see you in the next episode? Peace out!